spotlight will soon shine on San Francisco. The upcoming Apex Summit bringing a world-class crowd to the city in just a matter of days. This is the largest event that will be that's that's ever happened in San Francisco since the founding of the United Nations, and it's at the security level of a presidential inauguration. It's an event that has been months in the making. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck. Starting this weekend, thousands will arrive in San Francisco for the Apex Summit, including top heads of state and CEOs from some of the world's biggest companies. New at 10, KTVU's Jenna Katsuyama joins us live after speaking with the leader of foreign diplomats in San Francisco. Jenna. That's right, Mike and Julian. Let me step away here in front of the Moscone Center. As you can see, we've been seeing motorcades coming by with truckloads of barriers getting ready to set up. I sat down with the head of San Francisco's Consular Corps that represents foreign diplomats here and spoke with him and others about how APEC leaders view San Francisco and also how California can benefit from this summit. It was very exciting that San Francisco was chosen as uh, as the host city because it really it typifies you know the next phase of not just the U.S. economy but the global economy. Canada's Consul General Rana Sarkar heads the San Francisco Consular Corps, which includes 72 countries with consular representatives in San Francisco. There's a tremendous amount of interest in you know the AI ecosystem uh, particularly, but also more generally in technology from chips to you know autonomous vehicles to all of the work that uh, San Francisco has been doing over the course of decades. Sarkar says many APEC leaders are hoping to connect this week with the Bay Area tech companies and ecosystem. We're all working towards how we can build a sustainable economy that's fair and we will see progress for the global middle class. Along with APEC summits, 21 heads of state and top officials, some 1,200 CEOs of major banking, manufacturing, energy and tech companies also will be in the city for the APEC CEO Summit. They're going to be visiting here from around the world. They're going to be looking at San Francisco through the lens of investment, and this is still a great investment. Alex Bastian is president and CEO of the Hotel Council of San Francisco. He says the city's hospitality industry is already seeing the effects of hosting the tens of thousands of APEC visitors. Some of the hotels around Moscone are fully booked. And it's good for California, given that 53% of our trade is sent to Asia. You UC Berkeley professor of political science Vinny Agarwal is director of Berkeley's APEC study group. He says while APEC failed to create a free trade zone, it has become an important forum for international issues. Green technology, uh, advanced technologies such as quantum and AI, it's discussing inequality, the digital infrastructure, inclusion. So I think it's dealing with a whole host of issues and not just trade anymore. Professor Agarwal says one area that could mark a big success for the summit. If President Biden and President Xi agree to start working towards uh, ameliorating the conflict that we see between the United States and China. And one additional note that is interesting, the Chronicle is reporting they're hearing from the U.S. State Department that Russia might be sending some officials here to San Francisco. So some very difficult and delicate diplomacy that could be going on with this summit. Yeah, an international spotlight, a busy week ahead. Jana, thank you.